If you're renovating a home and new light fixtures just don't feel right, or maybe you have a lamp that belonged to your grandmother that you absolutely love because of the sentimental value, but it doesn't quite have the right look for your home, well, don't despair. The folks at Connecticut Lighting Center's Restoration Lighting Gallery can make any antique fixture or lamp suitable for the modern home. And here to tell us how, Dave Director and Mark Oaken. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Let's set this up for folks because I think a lot of people are familiar with Connecticut Lighting Center in Hartford, but if you just go across the street, that is where the Restoration Lighting Gallery is. And what is this all about? It's all about restoring antique lamps and fixtures. Antique lighting and and I, I think it really began, um, Connecticut Lighting Center has been around since 1970, and we've been in the lighting business, mm -hmm. but the, the next step was taking it into the emotional side of the business, and that um, restoration lighting was a, was a vision three years ago, and we started it, and now what we're seeing is these vintage, antique, reproduction, lampshades, and it's really the emotional side of the business. Yeah, Mark, is that what you're noticing? A lot of people are coming in, they just can't bear to part with something. It, it, it's amazing. Uh, People have old fixtures that were their parents, grandparents that they want to incorporate into their new homes mm -hmm. and just don't have a way to do it. And they bring it into us and they say, well, we don't know what to do with it. And we say, well, let's show you. What a uh, great idea. And show us because you give it a little bit of a modern twist. And you actually use other objects. We have a clip of you guys making a lamp using an heirloom ashtray. Can we take a look at that and take us through the process? You worked from a sketch. Is that how this all started? That's right. Uh, we sat with a client. And we drew out a sketch based on the uh, ashtray that was her grandmother's. We then uh, drilled it out, incorporated a base uh, that we discovered for it, and then just built the whole lamp. Uh, also, put in a piece of Waterford crystal that she had wanted from wow. the Times Square collection. So uh, we incorporated it into a lamp, and there's the uh, Waterford the crystal Waterford ball. Piece. And we have the finished product right here. Take a look at it, it's beautiful. And then the shade that you put on it. It does have an antique feel to it. It's got an older feel, and it complements all the uh, design of the lamp and the crystal. And you can see that we've incorporated another piece right here uh, that was part of the customer's uh, antique crystal collection. Now, let's take a look at these sketches, because do a lot of people bring in a sketch and ask you something to ask you to create something from it? It's pretty amazing, because this is really bringing art into the home, uh -huh. and uh, people are really tied to it emotionally and the way they, they just love it. A uh, woman was on vacation out in Portland, Oregon, snapped a picture of a lighthouse. We then made a CAD drawing of it and That's turned great. it into a uh, light fixture that hangs into their foyer, which I have a picture of there as well. Uh, just hanging there, and it's an exact replica of the uh, lighthouse that, that's out in Portland. And I believe we have some video, too. There are also lamps that used to be oil lamps. Uh, walk us through this process and what you did with this. That particular piece is a uh, Bradley and Hubbard piece, which was made right in Meriden, Connecticut, and it's dated 1878. If you look very closely at the lamp, it's intricately cast with cameo uh, heads of women on it. We've incorporated it to turn it into a modern-day fixture, which actually has a touch control. Yes, yeah, check this out. If you just come back, come back to us out here. I just touched this and it just shut off and got brighter. I'm just touching the lamp right here. Can you see that? How cool is that? You can touch that anywhere. Oh, anywhere on the anywhere lamp. Anywhere on the lamp. It. And what you did is you, you paired it with a modern shade and that's how it gave it that modern twist. Right? Uh, a bit of a retro shade with a, with a fabric that's going to work well in a lot of different decors. And uh, it actually can change its whole look but just by changing the shade. Show us what else you brought because this looks familiar. If you've seen this before, this is actually on our Connecticut style set in our living room and it really warms it up. We walked into the store and just thought this was beautiful. This particular lamp right here, if you take a look at it, it's all cast and uh, twisted right through here. 1920 approximately uh, when it was made. And if your camera can zoom right in, you can see that's the original paint in the uh, Pierce base. So that's never ever been changed. We just cleaned it and made it safe and uh, brought back the beauty and incorporated another uh, handmade shade on it. So each is, it's an individual project and you really have to judge on what you can save and what needs to be restored. Correct. And I saw we were doing some, uh, some hanging earlier. You hung a couple of chandeliers here. Can we get a shot of these hanging? Describe these to us. Well, the one that we're, we're looking at right now is a beautiful piece. It's about 1940s, and it's cast brass. And if you look, it goes well with your segment today because it has dancing ladies all around oh, it. Oh, yeah. Desiree's going to be <laughs> hip-hopping to the music later. And the frosted glass with it, as well as the beaded work. This piece, again, was just cleaned and rewired, and it's, just, it's a phenomenal-looking piece. The detail you can't find today, uh, the craftsmanship's just gone. And the one right next to it. 1920 Art Deco could have come right out of the Empire State Building with the original glass, uh, the different coloration, as well as the uh, the gold uh, highlights that are around it. 
And what's really great is depending on your decor, Dave and Mark, uh, if you want something modern, you have more of a modern house, you go to the Connecticut Lighting Center. If you want something more antique that has a sentimental feel, you go across the street to Restoration Lighting Gallery. Basically, that's how you direct your customers, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think that the, the having the two stores together um, has made a really great experience for a customer because now we're complete. We can we can do anything you can think of with lighting, home accents, um, fans. Um, basically anything for, for inside your house, we can do it. That's so great. And if you are intrigued by what you've seen here today, if you want more information, just contact Connecticut Lighting Center's Restoration Lighting Gallery. There's the information there, or you can just click on our website. Go to our website. It's WTNH.com, and you click on the Connecticut Style link, and we will get you there. Dave and Mark, thanks so much for coming in. Thank great you to very see much. you guys. Really appreciate Thank it. You. Beautiful appreciate stuff. It.